In this training video, we're going to look at freeze panes applied to Excel and then printing with freeze panes on. So we've got freeze panes applied to this worksheet right now. So I want to look at printing the receipts for all the single rooms down to miscellaneous, as well as the turnover information, but only for the last three months. So I'm going to apply freeze panes now to, to have the last three months next to the receipt information. I'd like to print this area from, in fact, A3 across to M3 and then down to M16. So with the freeze panes applied, I'm going to look at how print works now. So we're going to file print. And look at the preview, what it's showing, it's showing January, February, March. So the print is not in effect mirroring the freeze panes that is in Excel right now. So the print is working very, very different. And this would now print all of Excel, because there's six pages down the bottom here. And here's page one, for example, January, February, March. Then you go through more months, May to September, and there's, there's just more and more information which is not relevant to what I want to print in this example. So I want to print the information for the last three months as I've got on screen ready in freeze panes. Now, this is where a feature called page setup is really, really useful. Now, it depends on the version you've got. There'll be on the view tab, there's normally a little section in the bottom right whereby you can activate page setup in the view section of the ribbon. Well, it's not in the latest version, so the page setup has been added now to the quick access toolbar. So here's page setup. So if you haven't got it on your tab and you can't activate the page setup, you can always add it to the quick access toolbar. Now the way I've done this, I've gone through the quick access toolbar to the drop down, more commands, change popular to all commands. Then when you get all commands and it appears, you then just scroll down all commands. So all commands have now appeared. I'm going to scroll down until I get page setup. Here it is. And then you would click add. But we can see it's already been added on mine. So that's all I did. I found page setup, added it, and now I can use it. So some of the features on Microsoft which you can't maybe find, which you might have used, because different versions take things in and out of Microsoft. I've always used this for printing and I find it very, very useful. So, uh, sorry, it's not in the latest version that I'm looking at. So I've added it to the quick access toolbar, but I find this extremely useful for printing. So I'm going to cancel this now. And I'm going to use it. So here's page setup. And this box is how I find printing, to tell how to manage printing easiest using this box. And that, that's just through my, my own preference, but this is where I advise people to use it. Others might have different ways. So I'm going to use page setup. Now I want the print to be in lands in portrait, so I'll keep it in portrait. I'm going to work on the sheet area. So the sheet, I'm going to get the, I want the row information to, re, to repeat at the top. So my, my row information that I want to repeat is row three, which I've just highlighted and it's gone three, three. I also want the columns on the left to repeat and it's saying where, where are they? So I've clicked in this area and I'm now going to tell it it's column A. So I've told it where the headings are, my column headings, my row headings. What I've now got to do is tell it the print area that I want to print. So this is how you can manage freeze paint by managing the print area as well as the top the rows repeat the top and columns repeat the left. So I've set the column and row areas. I'm now going to set the print area. So I wanted the print from K5 across and down to M16. So I don't want the totals. So that's the area I'm now set in. So I'm telling Excel the print area that I want to print. And this will now look at printing exactly what's been set up for freeze panes. So I've set the print area, I've set the rows repeat the top and columns left. I can print preview here, but I'm, I'm just going to click OK and then check it out in print when I go back to print. So 
I click OK. Go to File, Print. And now I've got page one of one, and I've now got the receipts, October, November, December, and I've got the information I want. Now I can tidy this up by thinking, okay, I don't want it right at the top. I want it to be bigger and I want it to be in the center of the page. I want grid lines applied. I might even want row and column headings. So I'm going to tidy this up now for printing, but I've got the freeze page print I want. It's just a matter of tidying it up now. So I'm going to go back into Excel, back to the page setup. So this is why I use this page setup so much. It's really, really helpful for printing. Portrait I want, I'm going to adjust this, the size to 130% to make it bigger. Margins, I'm going to center horizontally and vertically to make it come in the middle of the page. And on the sheet, I'm going to show the grid lines but I also want to see row and column headings. Click OK. Back to file print. And there we go. This is a much better print. Showing the information much bigger. I can see it's the last three months of the year. I can see the receipt information. I can see the turnover. And that's what I wanted to print. It's now gone nicely centered in the middle of the page. And it's also showing where the information is coming from with the column headings and the row headings as well. So this is how you can print with freeze panes on. When you've printed, you then need to set it back to its normal settings. To do this, you go back into print, back out of print, back into Excel, back to the page setup. And then you can try to remember what you've done. So I know I've changed the percentage to greater than 100, so I'm going to change it back to 100. The margins, I want it back to its original settings. The sheet, I don't want the print area, because if you leave the print area, and that's all it'll ever print, is the print area. So it's really important that you get rid of this when you print it with free paints on. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to delete the row to repeat the top, as well as columns left and take off the good lines and wrong column headings. Click OK. Look at the print again now. So I'll just put the freeze panes back on where I want it. That's the way I'd like it to print. But if I now look at it, I'll see that's not the case. And it's now back to January, February, March and not giving me what I want. So this is back to the default settings now. But this is how you can print in Excel with freeze panes applied. So it's really important to be able to use the print area and that's why I use the page setup. Um, you can then apply things like grid lines and row and column headings to repeat. And you can also add row and column headings to print. You can set the margins to center like I did, and also adjust the, the magnification. So they're, they're the kind of skills we covered here at the print and looking at how to print with freeze panes. But this completes the training video of looking at printing with freeze panes applied and also looking at the information you want to print with freeze panes. And then just making the print look better with certain skills like row and column headings to show grid lines and making the percentage view a little bit bigger. But this completes printing with freeze panes applied. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.